Hey, what's up everybody? I just got back from doing a delivery for a candy cart. It was for a, it was for a gender reveal. Oh, it was a girl. What I wanted to talk today about is pricing. So I want to talk about the first candy cart I built was this one right here. It was our little wagon cart. It uh, cost me maybe about $300 in materials plus the time to put it together. Um, I just kind of built it and then um, took a couple of pictures of it, put it on Facebook Marketplace and put it to rent. Um, I look back today and it's been about a year that I've we sold this and I wanted to look to see how much we made off of it. When I calculated it was $2,250. So almost $2,000 in a year of cash on this one. So definitely a good of, a good return on investment and candy carts work awesome. Uh, the people are always renting them for baby showers, birthdays, weddings, whatever the event is. Some small cakes, uh, cupcakes, anything like that. Uh, so this is I must have it almost at every event venue. Uh, mine is custom made, uh, so definitely do get a lot of inquiries if um, people are trying to see where I got it from or uh, the people are trying to buy it off me for their own business and um, I just let them know it's custom made. I don't have time to make other products for other people because I'm busy always doing something for ours. It gives us to a point that I'm also gonna talk to at the end of the video. The second cart I went with uh, was this one over here. It's a trolley cart. Um, it's like a rustic design that they wanted going for. Wood on the top, welded metal at the bottom. Definitely can handle a lot more weight. So with the first the first two candy carts, I was more concerned about weight. I was thinking like uh, wedding cakes or something. Some, it's gonna weigh a bunch of a bunch of weight. But these, uh, so I made them sturdy and they were actually pretty heavy. Um, but these can hold definitely a, a lot of weight on each one. This one, the trolley cart. I'm not gonna say how much I, I weigh, but definitely even the trolley cart can hold a good amount of weight. Definitely can hold me sitting on there. And um, the wagon cart as well. So definitely sturdier, but with that, um, they became a lot more, they were a lot more heavier. Two people for that one. This one's lighter, but it's on wheels. So definitely keep that in mind. But this one, I have it, I don't even have it messaged anymore. Any, we don't, we don't have it for rent anymore, anything like that. But this one, we we'll just like the way it looks. Definitely, I'm always getting uh, inquiries about this one, even if we don't have it on there. Now the third and final one I made was this one. And this is the reason I decided to make a YouTube channel was, um, I'm almost making stuff and I never kind of filmed the process. And people are always like, well, how did you, how'd you do that? Uh, just kind of trial and error, I guess. Um, so I thought, you know what, let me record the process. And um, in between this one, I also started jumping because I had other events going on. So I'd build this and then build that and build this, build that and jump back. But I finally finished it. Uh, I'm going to show the setup of how this one is set up. So this is kind of putting all the stuff I learned from these two into this one where uh, this is definitely more decorative and more elegant versus the wagon and the trolley. But um, you can take it apart a lot easier. Um, it is lighter, but not a, um, one person can set this one up, but um, if I do it again, I probably look for more materials to make it lighter. I'm always trying to make things better and um, smoother, um, but definitely love the way this one came out. We actually never got to put it on the marketplace because once I finished this one, we already kind of decided let's, let's kind of slow down on our, on our setups. And so I've never even put this one on the marketplace. If I did, I know we'd get a lot of inquiries on this one just because I'm um, it's more of that elegant look versus the wagon look. And especially white and gold go great with weddings. So this is our other one. Uh, we normally, we've been renting the trolley cart and this cart, so they rent for 125 plus a delivery fee, which is usually within our area, uh, maybe 50 to 75 bucks per delivery. So usually it's maybe 200 bucks to take it, drop it off and pick it up that night or come back the next day. And um, I actually just got back from doing this one, which was uh, 200 bucks. I dropped it off at maybe three in the afternoon, came back this morning on a Sunday and picked it up around 1130. Uh, what I've learned from the balloon candy card uh, event business for us so far is candy cards <laughs> definitely get a lot of business from these. So if you can get them to uh, get a nice card that people kind of want to see, make it easy to set up, quick transfer, then definitely you can make a good return on investment on this one. So, which is almost $2,000 in one year. And that's because we stopped putting it off before they even the year finished. We kind of took all our stuff off a couple of months back. So if you're just getting started in the event rental business, you're doing balloons and kind of working with backdrops, definitely think about a candy cart, something that you can, um, easy to transport, but definitely looks good and different and separate and custom from the rest of them. Um, definitely got a lot of um, event rental businesses always messaging me like, where did I get my cart? Where did I get my cart? Can you make me one? And I've just never had the time. So that brings me to another thing I want to discuss. Uh, since we're not doing so many events right now, and we're kind of slowing that side down, I still like making stuff and building stuff. Um, I'm thinking 
of starting to do, uh, starting to build these props for sale. The hard part is a lot of the places that when you look up, they're either you gotta buy them from Europe or somewhere else and it takes a while to ship and it's kind of scary ordering from another country. Uh, the ones here where I'm at, you would have to usually, they don't, they don't offer delivery. So you would have to come and pick them up from where they are in. A lot of times if you're out of state, it makes it very difficult. So what I'm in the process of doing now is trying to figure out how I can make uh, like the marquee, like I have back there, the marquee numbers, I have made the one and five, make those and see if I can figure out how much it would cost to ship those out and see how that works out and if that's something I'm able to do. And if I am, then that's definitely something I'm gonna look into and also like the baby blocks, if I can make those portable, easy, light, you can ship and you can definitely do your events with them. What I like about our baby blocks back there, they're the perfect size. I actually made them perfectly for uh, Michael's The Craft Store. They sell letters, these random size, um, these size letters. And so I don't have to cut out any letters. These are cardboard, I think they cost like a dollar. And I'll reuse them. As you can see, I just put the tape and reuse them. So whatever someone wants to spell, baby, hi, one, two, three, anything, uh, I buy it from there. What color does it go with the balloons? Just spray paint the color, put the tape on, stick it right in the center. They're the perfect size for them. So the size that I built my blocks works perfect for the Michael cardboard letters, which are like a dollar fifty or something each. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna look into that, the marquee, baby blocks, uh, some different designs with the animals. But what I really wanna do is try to figure out if I can build a candy cart that can be broken down. I've seen them, I just don't like the way they look. I wanna see if I can build one. I'm probably gonna go similar to the wagon, might be easier, and definitely I know it gets a, a lot more um, requests. So I'm gonna see if I can make this light, easy to break down, easy to build up, easy to transport, uh, especially for shipping and kind of see what that cost would come out to. Um, definitely it takes a lot of work, but I'm going to look to see what it comes out with. I'll definitely keep you all updated. Uh, thanks for watching this video.